The UK is changing people's rights over the collection and use of personal data. These changes will determine what information about citizens can be held by companies and the government. The UK government wants to change these rules because it wants to promote business innovation and growth. It believes the data protection rules the UK inherited from the EU were too tight. When this happens, the UK and EU will end up with different data protection rules. What does it mean for both the UK and Europe? Will this help business and trade or damage it? Will individuals benefit or lose their rights? Data protection rights protect us from unfair, discriminatory decisions being made and to ensure that people are in control of their relationships with companies and governments. They also prevent business and government from using data without boundaries. They ensure that checks are made so that people won't suffer bad outcomes from data collection and use by government or business. Data protection rights have been used to challenge automated exam results, false accusations of fraud, police demanding phone data from rape victims, and mass profiling of internet users for online advertising. But the UK government believes that these existing data rights encourage excessive paperwork and create burdens on businesses. They want to create a new regulatory framework under which the value of data can be truly maximised while removing inappropriate barriers to the flow of UK personal data overseas. The new government wants even more radical changes than those published in July. These already included sweeping new powers for the executive. New executive powers would allow UK data protection standards to be easily changed by ministers through statutory instruments. Ministers will be able to rewrite data protection rules to allow new business uses of data. The July bill gave government the power to direct the regulator to promote new uses of data, trade and economic growth. Ministers will be able to permit new uses of data by government regardless of the impacts and with minimal supervision by UK Parliament. Ministers will be able to consider a wide range of factors that go beyond data protection when allowing easy data transfers with another country, known as adequacy decisions. This could include commercial relationships and possibly trade agreements. The aim is easier digital trade, but it could result in UK and EU personal data flowing to countries with low data protection standards. The UK government wants to promote the artificial intelligence industry with permissive legislation and enable medical research by allowing data to be reused without patient consent. Such deep changes could also threaten UK and EU trade and business. If the EU believes the UK laws endanger European data rights, the UK could lose access to the European market. This would seriously damage the UK digital economy. 75% of UK data flows are toward the EU. Losing access to the EU digital market could cost £1.6 billion in legal and compliance costs alone. If the UK lowers its data rights standards, the EU may also worry that the UK could become a deregulated offshore competitor. And businesses could use the UK to push the EU towards lower privacy standards. This could endanger consumer trust. Data protection improves trust in the digital economy by ensuring people are in greater control of who is using their data and how. Loss of trust could damage digital businesses. If the UK and EU get these laws wrong, we all stand to lose, both businesses and citizens.